My name is Helen, I'm a law researcher at the University of Luxembourg and besides my job I love cooking and traveling. This year's destination will be Colombia, to which I'm really looking forward. In my job, however, I focus on criminal law, a field that is constantly in motion. Our criminal justice system is overloaded. More and more crimes are committed, so more and more trials have to be taken care of. This costs a lot of money to the state, and therefore some people and companies can pay a certain amount of money, meaning that their trial will be stopped, and this is what we call negotiated justice. This saves a lot of money and means to the states, but is it fair? Can persons or companies simply pay a certain amount of money to avoid a trial? I'll look at these types of negotiated justice uh, in different places around the world, namely Belgium, France, San Francisco and New York, and this allows me to travel a bit in the legal world as well. Theory and practice do not always collide. That's why, apart from the theoretical aspect, I will also conduct interviews with judges, prosecutors, defense lawyers and the victims. The aim of my research is to map out how those forms of negotiated justice work in practice. Should we be able to close deals in criminal law at all? Or maybe should we rethink the function of criminal law in our society and reserve criminal law for the most gravest crimes? <laughs>